start the debate. Uh, problem of this 
determination. And who will do this? Th this will be done by UN and its uh, different uh, departments, uh, Population Division of the UN, UN Division of Social Policy and Development, Office of the UN, uh, High Commissioner uh, of Human Rights, UN Office on Drugs and Crime, UN Population Fund, and also non-governmental organizations and media. This will be done uh, by announcing the following year, the official year of migrants, in which uh, there will be a paid special attention to the problems of migrants, all the problems that they are faced with. Also, uh, non-governmental organizations and the media will play a very important role in educating uh, people all around the world with financial help of uh, the United Nations about the problem of migrants through different workshops and uh, so on. UN will do this because <coughs> UN has already shown interest for the problems of migrants by creating universe, uh, the, the uh, Convention of Migrants' Rights, uh, of the rights of migrant workers. So uh, UN is already interesting, uh, interested for this and uh, by doing these steps uh, we uh, think that this will be the best way to solve the problem that we have. Thank you very much. Do you guys want some preparation time? Yes. Uh, yeah. Two minutes. this 
doesn't bring any harm whatsoever to the economic economy and the social. On the contrary, we uh, don't prove that uh, migrants are beneficial for the uh, for the society. Are you trying to say they don't bring any harm to? It? Well, everything. We have time, guys. Um, we have six and a half minutes left.
two, the solution that they're presenting, and three, the, new, the body in which the world used to implement this. Now, because of all these three factors coming into such a false, false alignment, we find that generally government has no case. There is no problem. The status quo is people are able to move. People are moving well, they're exercising their rights, so be it. Currently, we see <coughs> the receiving countries such as uh, France uh, banning the use of the veil. And why is this? This is because they fear that uh, improving the, or in enhancing in any way the rights of migrants threatens national security of these countries. And in such a case, I don't see why any country in its right mind would go and implement a convention or whatever it is the government wants to implement to save whatever it is that government seeks to save because really they haven't shown us anything. That having said, ladies and gentlemen, I bid you farewell.
didn't enter the country with the proper documentation. As such, you can't even Why can't you get the proper documentation? Because it's an issue of the limit. Thank you.
current situation with their with their rights is okay if we talk if we look at the paper with the law. But actually, in the real world, we are facing some real problems, and that's what we, we that's what we want to change with our plan. This plan is not as fast; it can be done now because migrations are a really long process. But in a long time, migrations can be solved, and that's what our goal is actually. That brings benefit that actually makes our criteria possible uh, in cross examination. In cross examination, we also hear that uh, we also. I want to point out that we don't want to make migrants uh, come in larger, larger numbers. We don't want to collapse economies. That's the answer for negative speaker. But it's not going to be done because there are already systems in those countries, Western countries, that uh, solve that problem. So we don't want to do it. That it's not what our plan is. And negative side affirmed our plan actually in our whole case. Thank you. I'm ready for cross examination.
ready to stop the Sure. Um, social tension is a 
uh, is basically now put into that country because it's causing hatred amongst the migrants and the citizens because the migrants are now coming to your country taking indigenous jobs and that's going to cause that social tension and cause that discrimination. So in conclusion, I'd like to say that it's going to cause more harm by uh, increasing the protection because it's just going to put the citizens under the impression that you're giving the migrants more preference. You have six minutes. I'll tell you every minute, okay? I'll just tell you every minute, then you can choose. Okay.
time's up. Thank you very much. Okay. You have five minutes. Our second argument was 
each person deserves maximum protection of its rights. Uh, negative side uh, didn't say a lot of about uh, our second argument because they also said that every person has got its rights. But uh, the problem is they don't realize that these rights are not protected, well protected. Our third argument was uh, migrants bring profit to the society. Uh, as uh, we heard, the migrants send a lot of money uh, to their homelands. Three times more than total world aid for uh, these countries uh, is. So they send about 340 uh, billion dollars uh, a year. Uh, as negative side didn't even touch our third argument, our third argument states valid. Uh, our plan, uh, now I want to say something about, uh, 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 also about problem. I want to, uh, I want to point at the uh, topic of our example. Topic of our example was 71 migrants killed. It wasn't 71 person killed. Uh, this, uh, the fact that these people are called migrants uh, convinces us and it is obvious that the problem already exists. Now I want to say something about our plan. Our plan was uh, actually to raise the popularity of topic, uh, to raise the popularity of um, uh, even talking, debating and understand, understanding the migrants. Uh, ha, uh, negative uh, side uh, didn't uh, completely understood, underst understand uh, our uh, plan. They uh, think that only government pla uh, plays its role, but not only government, but also people. People uh, will be introduced in problem which migra migrants are in the world, which migrations are in the world, I'm sorry. Uh, if people are uh, uh, conscious about this problem, there will be pressure on governments. Governments will have to do something about uh, migrations. They will have to act to solve this problem. Uh, not only they will solve, solve the problem, the uh, current situation will improve. Also, uh, the ra raising the popularity of this topic will make uh, racial discrimination, hate, uh, uh, hate and racial discrimination uh, will be decreased. How? Because people will be introduced, they will emphasize the, uh, with, with migrants. They will understand a lot of uh, problems which migrants are faced. Uh, they will kind of feel sorry for a lot of migrants have to pass through the history. So uh, hate and uh, racial discrimination and all kinds of discrimination uh, can disappear. Uh, what I also want to say uh, is that uh, second negative speaker said that uh, we should protect the right of own people and uh, its quote. Uh, I think that uh, even if we should protect the right of own people, that means that status quo is wrong, uh, is not, uh, the current situation is not uh, really fine. And second, uh, is it uh, moral to say, let's protect our own citizens, let's forget the migrants and their problems? I think it's not. So that wha that's why our plan and our arguments are still valid, and that's why affirmative side convinced everybody here that uh, migrant migrations are a problem and migrations will be solved through the plan we gave it in. Thank you very much. You have 4 minutes and 20 seconds. Okay, take it.
desperate. If you need to, I don't want to force you to stay well, here because I, I can it can be an emergency situation. Five or six more minutes will be finished. Okay. If it's quick, you can go and come. Uh, uh, I'll wait. Okay.
what went on here was that we said that civilians, um, th I mean citizens don't want to change the status quo because migrants' rights are already protected. And this is how it is. Governments don't ratify the convention because the people of the country don't want it. Why they don't want it? Because migrants already have protected rights. And why they, they shouldn't increase is because now they're overpowered, overshadow the economy. And this will cause many social tensions, including xenophobia, because now they'll be a hatred. Now there will be this equality and inequality, not when migrants and citizens are classified differently. Okay, this, but they came here pure and said this is a vulnerable, vulnerable group, but they failed to tell us vulnerable in what? And if they are vulnerable, that's why they do not have, you know, that right, because now they might as well misuse it. Secondly, they came up here and talked about maximum protection of rights. It shows that, you know, talking of which again goes to the emergencies, that their rights are protected. If they use maximum protection of their rights, if now they misuse those rights, it will break our country down. The citizens of the country are the ones who are going to suffer at the end of the day. Thirdly, they came up here and talked about how this will benefit the society. I want to bash this, but now they will not benefit the society, ladies and gentlemen. This equal, this equal um, distribution of wealth. Now, these um, people are taken advantage of. And when the wage rate falls, because now these people need money and they are hired for less paid jobs, this brings the wage rate down. And when the wage rate is down, spending level is less. When spending level is less, there is less demand, less demand, less supply, less supply, less produce, less GDP, go ahead, less GDP, no economic growth, and we as the opposition cannot afford that for a country we live in. As long as the migrants' rights are protected, which they are, as long as everybody lives peacefully, we do not want this further improvement because we do not need it. Thank you. Thank you very much to the teams. I invite you to cross the floor to shake hands with each other. So you guys can take a short break now and step out the room for a while while we prepare to